It's been a few weeks since we've been for a little walk around here. So we thought we'd start the vlog on a Thursday night with a nice view of the sunset. Yeah, we should. We've headed out, headed out a bit later than we normally would. Had some tea. And Gemma's just going to adjust her shoes. Well, I'm assuming you said shoes because you said straps. It's either your bra or your shoes. It's your shoes. <laughs> Gemma's bra straps as tight as it's going to go, so we'll just have to walk slower. <laughs> no, it's your shoes, isn't it? It's my shoes. First time you've worn them since Florida in 2019? Yeah. Blimey. It's starting to look quite nice over there. Hopefully when the sun gets below these clouds it'll start to look super impressive. We can remain hopeful of a nice sunset. <laughs> we did just watch someone train in these uh, very very well behaved spaniel. It was a lot of fun playing with the ball. The dog not the owner. That peeping in the distance is oyster catchers. A whole lot of them over this way, just over the edge of the river. This is a this is where the River Alt meets the Mersey Estuary. So we've got two rivers effectively. More oyster catchers flying over, and a bumblebee down here. I just heard, and then these really pretty flowers. There. Yeah, and this one. You can hear multiple bees in here. Yeah, oh, very nice. So later this month, the Disney Magic should be coming up here, up towards Liverpool. But not today. No, I keep things a bit, little bit lower key. Well, you never do it all. Liverpool does like to put a show on for its cruise ships. By the time it comes here, all the restrictions will have changed as well. Yeah. I feel like coming here is a nicer place to see it. Yeah, I think it would be nice to see it here, especially if it does the uh, the horn. Stop giggling, you child. <laughs> One of Gemma's favourite spots for photos with the long grass. Yeah. Gemma goes and squats in the grass. Yeah. Definitely not having a wee. It's not that close to the path, I go a bit further in. <laughs> Down over the seawall. <laughs> we'll never see you again. She's gone into the jungle. Arrived at the destination for our walk. The pebble. The pebble. A lot of squeaking going on down there. There's a top off a fence by the looks of it. That one there. Not a fence, you know what I mean. A wall, like a bit from. Some big chunks of concrete out there as well. The sunset's looking quite nice now. Not as nice as we sometimes get it, but certainly quite pleasant. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool now. Gemma's on her Instagram as well. Oh, those clouds over in the distance ruin the sunset. Boo! <laughs> well, we are making our way back to the car now. So we'll probably catch you tomorrow, I imagine, at this point. Unless there's anything interesting comes up between now and then. Oh, we had um, we had another Hello Fresh meal today. It was quite nice, didn't we? It was. Wasn't that fresh and bacon you left out? Yes. I didn't feel like the bacon was necessary. I, I think a, I had a butternut bacon, squash. I yeah. <laughs> well, a butternut squash risotto would have probably been like it was very filling, so it would have probably been enough to be honest. I think the bacon was just for the salt. Okay. You could have probably got away with putting some smoky chipotle sauce, spices or something in instead. It did have a whole chilli in it. Okay. Anyway. And lots of Amazon cheese. To the car, what's that bird though? A seagull. An eagle? A seagull. Oh, a seagull. Oh, it's boring then. Are you sure it's massive? Well, maybe. Maybe. 
I don't know why I'm still filming it because it's like miles away, but it ain't a seagull. It'll be a heron. Or an egress. It's an egress, let me. It's an egress. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to dive into the sea then. It's, it's, got, it's coming across the... It's a Jurassic Park. Oh, that's impressive. I don't know how much of it you can see on the on the screen because it is quite far away. But you're still getting the nice. Uh, the sunset's actually uh, picking up a little bit there as well. Yeah, it's lighting up the clouds quite nice. And you sometimes get nice big deep deep red sunsets. Not mm. quite Florida standard, but still very nice. Nice chicken pasta for tea tonight. This looks fab as well. It's Friday, and yeah, there's a cat next to me. Hey Ginny, how you doing mister? Good lad. Hiya. Hello. You alright? Yeah. What is this? It's a spicy, creamy chicken pasta. Okay. I feel like since you've had HelloFresh, I've had more spinach than I've ever had in my entire life. You like Popeye? And parmesan cheese. <laughs> Every recipe, parmesan cheese and spring on you in spinach. Well, enjoy it. <laughs> it smells lovely. Okay. We can catch up on some vlogs while we're eating. Yeah. Did you enjoy your dinner? It was no flames, really. Nice. Yeah, it was really good, wasn't it? We're in a couple of beers now, catching up on some vlogs. And we'll see you tomorrow, probably. Saturday. I'm looking at the screen. Good morning. Um, yeah. So it is Saturday, I've just dropped Gemma off at work, called to Booth's, got some beverages, got some crisps, got some pasties, got some pies, some pick picnic food, because tomorrow we're going out for some walkies. I'm not going to tell you where yet, because I can't remember. <laughs> but I've got some places on Google Maps that we're going to go and visit. One's new to both of us, one of them's new to Gemma, so it should be nice. Hopefully, with the weather not being fantastic this weekend, and also with the international football final being on, uh, those places should be a little bit quieter, so that should be good. Fingers crossed. Uh, if not, we can just go where we the mood takes us, I guess. Um, what else is going on this weekend? Not a huge amount. We're going to watch some films tonight. Got some HelloFresh food for tonight again. Uh, not a pl plug. <laughs> it feels like it every time I say it. Uh, but yeah, I just it's kind of good. I think it's just good to say that whenever we're eating the food, that it's HelloFresh. Just to show you what kind of meals you would get if you were involved with that and then obviously I don't want people mixing up what we cook separately which we haven't really done for a little while. Cat's just fell over. Oh he's got his claw stuck in a cushion and fell over and rolled over backwards. He's got himself now. Uh, what else happened this week? What's been going on? Um, doctor's appointment. Basically a check up from last year's hospitalisation. All good there. Uh, no reoccurrences is the issue that I went to hospital for. Uh, my blood pressure is pretty much normal or optimal which is good uh, they've got a couple of things they want to do me another 12 so 24 hours with a blood pressure monitor with a review to actually reducing the medication I'm on which has got to be good news hasn't it I'm falling over a plastic shrimp Archie's toy is on the floor it's, it's oddly it's Archie's toy but I think he's scared of it so he, I just like kicked it towards him and he ran off um, dehumidifier is broken <laughs> need to buy a new one of them it lasted about five years so that's pretty good going um, yeah, so other than that, not a huge amount going on. Plans for today? Um, I think I'm just going to be tidy in the kitchen again. Doing stuff that I didn't do last week because I made excuses to not do it. Uh, also, I'm going to have some relaxation time. we sit and play some games on the computer maybe. And watch a cat sat in a window watching the world go by. <laughs> there he is, you can watch him too. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Well, weirdly, the wedges that came with our HelloFresh burgers <laughs> magically turned into eight chicken massive wings. chicken wings. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that was my own Wilson impression. Yeah. Wow. So, there's your cheeseburger. I think I've given you the right one. If it's got ketchup on it, I think it has got ketchup. That'll be underneath it. the burger. No. Okay. Enjoy. Thanks. I might need a beer. Wipe my hands. Yes, I'm going to bring those in in a moment. Did you enjoy your burger? It was lovely, really nice. And chicken wings? Mm hmm Tasty. That was controversial now. My least favourite of all of the 
Hello Fresh Foods meals we've had. Happy and I wouldn't. I, well, I would go as far as say as it wasn't very nice. You didn't like the burger? No, I thought it was awful. Really? The meat was. was just. There was no texture to the meat whatsoever. I, there was no flavour to the meat. It was just a big stodgy mess. I it was Com okay. Compared to your burgers, that was like that was a Maybe one out of ten. It was a one out of ten. It was just. It wasn't nice meat. But the chicken wings were lovely. But they weren't from Hollow Fresh. No, they weren't. They were from Boots. So yeah, one of us really enjoyed the burger, and the other one thought it was pretty bad. The burger could have been better because the bun could have been toasted. The bun. Well, I did yeah. toast the bun. I tossed it in the oven as per the instructions. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, but the bur the the bun was too stodgy for the burger. Uh, I couldn't tell what was burger and what was bun while I was eating it. Okay. I didn't like it. That's fine. Right. I wouldn't get that again. But you like the pork burger? The pork else? burger was nicer than that by a long shot. Anyway, vlogs and then some films, I think. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you probably tomorrow at this point. I think we'll be talking too much tonight. Sunday morning. Well, it's actually Sunday afternoon now. <laughs> uh, we have been up. Well, I've been up since about eight. But we're at Beacon Fell Country Park for a little bit of a walk. It's quite nice up here. This is near Preston. Park down there. So parking's free at the minute because the uh, parking charges are suspended. We're gonna have a little walk in the woods and get bitten by lots of flies, aren't we? Probably. It's a big head. A Tom Thompson Dagnall commemorates the 25th anniversary of Beacon Fell Country Park. Unveiled in 1995. Like Mate, <laughs> you find some hilly places, don't I? You do. <laughs> so I am in the process of acquiring a map, but in the meantime we've just picked a route and we're just going to walk along for a bit. See if we can get to the top. I came here, I'm going to say, maybe 10, 12 years ago with my friend. We did some cycling around the... there's like a road that route loops are all the way around it. We did some cycling around that. It's the first time I've been since then. Looks like it's a managed forest as well. We'll probably get bitten alive like we would in Delamere. <laughs> Might that not was... be too bad because we're not in the trees. True. That was uh, the other choice was possibly to go to Delamere but we came here instead. Yeah. Evidently the maps for this place are a big secret online. You can't actually get them anywhere because every time I try and download one I get a 404 error. Well, got in the visitor centre. Yeah, and got like bought one. So now we can have the straight to so we can go up. Let's go up. I know you love your climbing. I'm very coming down. <laughs> That's the bit that hurts the most though, climbing down, I find, because it really hurts the fronts of your legs. No. Other people are walking this way. So we get some nice views from up here. Ooh. There's a beast. Sluggy slug. Jenna built that den while we while I was trying to download a map. <laughs> I seem to be climbing up now. We're, actually, we're walking like the perimeter path around the edge. I did actually find that the map, the Strava map's really good for this sort of thing because it shows all footpaths and things. Oh, found another sculpture. Well, it looks like a lot of people have hammered coins into it. Quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. There's like the entire tail sheared off it as well. <laughs> So we'll probably get about 67p out of that. We're gonna head this way. We're, we came from that way, we're sort of zigzagging. But I think I think if we get down to here and take another left, we kind of head up onto the top then. It's very warm and humid. We spotted a bench just over here that we're gonna go and sit down and enjoy our lunch on. We're quite high up now, I don't know if this is the peak or not. I don't, we, I don't really know the area too well, so. But there's also paths up into the woods over there, so we could maybe go back that way in a bit. Some nice views from up here. Yeah. Slightly blocked by the trees, but I don't mind that so much. But in a clear day, you can see like quite far. Well, that's an obvious statement of the day there, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you go. Looks like a nice little from up here. Anyway, we're going to sit down and have some food. So, for lunch, I got from Boots Yorkshire pasties. And I'm reliably informed that they're just like Cornish pasties, but they can't call them that because they're not made in Cornwall. Looks good though. Getting in practice for Cornwall. Yeah. Well, this is our direct comparison. We'll try this here, we'll give it our rating, and then we'll try a Cornish pasty and we'll see which we like best. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say probably the Cornish one. So, on bite number one, I haven't got any filling yet. No, me neither. <laughs> Quite nice. You enjoy that? Mm -hmm. Licking your fingers. It was like an egg wash on it, so it was mm -hmm. a bit sticky, sticky. wasn't it? It was a good solid three and a half out of five for mm. me, I think. It wasn't the best. It was um, really nice filling. Just need a bit more. Maybe if it was warmer, it would have probably worked. Yeah. Out. Anyway, washing it down with some San Pellegrino lemon limonata. Fancy. Mm. Fancy. Fancy. Could have bought me alcohol free beers. <laughs> Carry on. We're going to go back the way we came, then through into the woods, see if we can find the peak. Although I don't feel like it'll be much higher than this one. No, we are quite Hills over there as well. Up. Say again, sorry. I said we are quite far up now. Yeah. What's this sign here? Memorial Woodland Andrew or Greenwood. Andrew Greenwood. 1991 to 2019. Oh, he's a ranger, yeah. Got flowers here. Of them over there as well. There's a squirrel. Oh, these flowers. There's quite a few of them around. Yeah. Look at the size of that bee. And look, Gemma found another little sculpture. Please do not hammer cots coins into the frog. That's cool. Gemma also noticed this one. The tree has a face. Yeah. This isn't a tree that's actually still alive anymore. But it does have a cool sculpture in it. There's a big one that's fallen down here. Look. There's a bumblebee just gone into one of these. There he is. Or she. <laughs> Nearly at the top, but before we get there, there's an owl here. There's <laughs> another one in there as well. Oh, yeah. And there's the peak. The flowers were foxgloves, by the way. We just looked it up on Google Land. We made it to the top. So rather than head directly back to the car, we're going to head round the back end of the hill, walk around the perimeter and back to the car. We've only done like three and a half thousand steps so far. It feels like we've done a lot further though. Because of this being inclined, so. Yeah. I always feel like you're doing more when you're going up. Now we should be down and round. Yeah. So. Yeah, it undulates a little bit, I think. Yeah. Oh, look, a baby new Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. There's also a paraglider and a full-size glider oh, yeah. coming off the hill over there, which was quite quite cool. The full-size glider's gone around the other side, yeah, I think. Now. We can see the parasail over there. Yeah. The plane going over. So it's to get steeper here, so I started filming to see if Gemma slipped. <laughs> You're like a mountain goat, honey. You eat everything, including cords <laughs> and pepper. <laughs> I mean, it would be 
you, you hear things in the bushes again. We think we get, there's like either grasshoppers or frogs or something just clicking away in the, in the bushes. We did, I did, yeah. well, I did read the other day that someone had come in about a week ago and there was frogs everywhere, so we're on the lookout to see if we see any as well. Uh, that way, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Yeah. I know, with my old man hips. Not sure what that sculpture's supposed to be. <laughs> we think we just heard a kestrel or possibly a sparrow hawk flying through the trees over there. I can't hear it now, but it was a proper no, noise. Gemma's found our Christmas tree for next year. Well, this year. Probably have to take a little bit off the top to fit in the living room. Maybe a bit off the sides <laughs> as well. <laughs> Good tree, what a sap. <laughs> There's more fox gloves. And a dog poo bin, but you didn't need to know that. Get it back into the thick of the woods now. No shelters. This bit's nice. Also lots of doggos around here. A couple of them uh, just spotted uh, Gemma. Might have some food left. And we're <laughs> very interested in the bag. Gemma found another tree first. It's like Chewbacca. <laughs> we're just using my um, Strava map to try and find the way through frog, all these random paths. Baby frog. Oh, baby, oh, baby frogs. frogs everywhere. Let's see if we can get them closer. Okay, well, there's one right in front of you. Really difficult to spot them until they move. You see the floor just moving over there. As well. There's one here on these rocks as well. I might scare off this better path there, give them some space. Yeah. There's not really much you can do, unfortunately. No. Well, this is spotted them. Yeah, we did. We are heading that way now. We think. Now I'm like super careful. We had this when we, we were talking about this earlier, when we went yeah. to Coronado Springs. There was one day when it rained really heavily and the paths just turned into... There was just little frogs hopping across the paths everywhere. We're just trying to avoid stepping on them. Unfortunately, there are that many of them, it's really difficult. And they're so well disguised, you don't see them until it's too late sometimes. Yeah. It's very squelchy around here, which is probably why we saw the frogs. Yeah. Look at this, breaking out into a nice view over here, though. I think this is a view more, more south. Yeah, do you want to go and sit down for a minute? Well, there's sheep in the field. So. Oh, okay. We're going to have a little walk down here. So this is the road that, that it drives, well, you can basically drive around the entire perimeter of the area. So we'll probably end up driving back along here when we, when we leave in a minute. Ah, oh, the quiet British countryside. <laughs> nice view from the Quite a lot of horses coming along here. Mm -hmm. Take some back for our roses if we had any. And you want wild roses? Yeah. What roses? I thought it was happening we had some. Yeah, true. Some nice bird song. Yep, of course they go quiet when I start filming. Oh, there we go. I think as we come over this hill now, we'll pretty much be back at the car. We've only done about 6,000 steps. But over undulating terrain, rather than flat, like when we go to the beach. And down this final awkward hill. The car park's just down here. There's a visitor centre with the toilets, and I think there's a little shop there as well. Yeah, there's a cafe. This is one of the other sculptures you go and find. This big snake. I think this one's recently been re renovated. This is cool. That's really good, isn't it? Yeah. 
I can hear a drone in the trees above us. Can it be on this hogweed here? There's a lot of insects pulling it, isn't it? And this is the one way road again. The last time I came, I just cycled the whole way around the one way road. But our car is just over the hill here. We are back home, and I've just realised my pint is done. Well, it's brewed, I need to condition it. So I'm just going to separate this now from the brewing stand, get it in the fridge, and uh, next weekend we're going to try some Welsh Red Ale. This is the bit that I'm never able to film because I don't have spare hands, but I remembered I've got a tripod. Uh, this is the bit where you have to take the beer off the brewing stand, and this is the bit that usually gets messy, so the camera might get a face full of beer. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> usually it's me that gets messy, not the beer, so that, uh, sorry, not the um, cabinets, so that's not too bad. You can see the yeast there? from the brewing process and it's still a little bit cloudy what came out of it because obviously there was quite a lot of pressure involved there that were just released but what happens now is while this is conditioning in the fridge all of the sediment settles to the bottom and you can drink the beer quite happily come next weekend anyway but what I do like to do is give it a quick smell see what it smells like I can't smell it from here because the pint is in the way try now Oh, that does smell like a red ale as well. It smells lovely. I'm looking forward to trying this next week. Bit of patience now though, because we've got to wait until next week. Anyway, when I turn the tap on now, you should see all of the... Um, you can see it already, that's all the yeast from brewing. <laughs> There's loads of it in there. <laughs> Over in the fridge, there's the pint are all set now, so that will stay there until next weekend. But also up there is the Scottish Amber Ale, which will be, I mean, I could probably put that onto brew now, because I've got two of these tubs, I could put that onto brew now, but I'll probably give it a week and then we'll have that. So while I have a shower now, Gemma's going to be cooking our the last of our Hello Fresh meals this week, which is, uh, what was it, Gem? Pork. Pork with tarragon sauce and veggies. There we go. Anyway, I'll show you that when it's done. Gemma has provided dinner. It looks delicious. Let's tuck into it and see what we think. Is it good? It was very nice, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. Return to form after last night's disappointment burger. Have we had a beef burger before? Remember when they didn't send me the proper ingredients? Yeah. I just made it myself. And you liked that one? Yeah. So I wouldn't do it, I don't know. Ah, oh, there was just no flavour in last night's burger. I just didn't taste it. Was, maybe it was the ingredients they gave you to put in it. Just the meat was like mush as well. It was. Yeah, maybe it was just a bad, yeah. one bad packet of meat. Yeah, could could have just been the meat. Yeah, you're right. Oh, what are you up to? Is he hiding down the back of the coat? Yeah. What were you up to? God, he just he just bounced out from behind the couch. Do you think someone caught in the act? What? What were you doing? You were eating something. Have you been munching on behind the couch? Either a spider or a fly. Oh my. Anyway, what are we doing for the rest of the night? Watching some trying TV? Trying to cool down. I'm trying to cool down. Not watching football. <laughs> really good at closing vlogs off us. Uh, it's absolutely not Thursday night and I've just edited the video and found out that we haven't closed the vlog off. Not at all. Uh, but yeah. Um, oh. Beginning of the video we mentioned the Disney Magic, it's actually in dock now and about to leave for the first of the cruises, so I so hope those people have lots of fun. Uh, hopefully at some point we might be able to go out to the beach and uh, see it. They just aren't posting the times at the minute, which I think is probably on purpose to stop like, lots of crowds turning up. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. So if you do want to, it would be really helpful if you like the video, because apparently that's good for the algorithm, whatever that is. <laughs> subscribe uh, ring the bell and jazz saxophone yeah do some of that <laughs> see you in the next one bye bye